Hey guys, Gun Lover for Life here, uh, doing a video today. I know it's been quite a while, it's been almost about a month since that last video, and I, uh, I apologize. Stuff as usual, and, um, really haven't been, I, you know, I haven't been buying or picking up many knives recently. I just, I don't know, um, uh, but mainly just been carrying and using my knives a lot more, and, you know, I've been saving up trying to get my hands on something really, really nice, but, uh, it's going all right, but anyway, thought I'd kind of go and give you kind of a just an update of what's been going on, stuff like that, you know, normal, and uh, also the fact that um, I'm trying to think how long has it been now. I thought I'd go ahead and give an EDC report probably pretty soon in the next couple of days. I might even just do it in this video of a uh, knife that I have owned for. Good knows. I'm trying to remember how long it's been now since I've uh, since I've gotten it. It's easily been three or four months, I think. I could be wrong, but it's a knife that has been in my pocket every day. I've used it. I've carried it. Might not show much of it because I will say it it, it wears extremely well. But anyway, some of y'all probably already know what that is, and uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get into that. Show you that first. Um. Uh, let's see, where should I begin? Go ahead, and, go ahead and zoom out. Let's see if I can move. So I don't want to give anything away yet. And uh, I thought I'd go ahead and tell you. Um, one of the big things that I did pick up recently is I picked up an iPad. And when I did do that, um, sorry about the screen, it's probably really dirty. But I did. So, where's it? Da, 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 da. Did join Instagram and it's oh well. As you can tell, I wasn't too prepared. But uh, as you can tell, I did join Instagram. You know, and been talking about joining for a while. I just never did. And yes, the screen is really dirty, and that irritates the crap out of me. But um, I did join. It's the same as my other one. And, uh, you know, I got a couple posts, yeah. I haven't, you know, I just joined yesterday, so, you know, that's all it is. But I thought I'd go ahead and put that out there. I did join. And why does it do? But anyway, um, and I just noticed the predator's dead. Great! Anyway, um, as you know, for the past four months, my, one of my biggest grails was the Hinder XM18 three and a half inch. And, uh, you know... I don't know if I even did a video talking about that I did get a better sharpener and that uh, one of my goals was to hopefully one point sharpen this. I did sharpen it, it's held an edge way better and it's still a lot sharper. Uh, this knife has been in my pocket every single day for the past three to four months. There's literally been not, not one knife that has taken more time than this. Um, Settering's still off, I really don't care. I'm using it, so what's the big deal? Um, and I do use it, I don't mean it just sits in my pocket. I cut up a lot of cardboard boxes and straps with it. And uh, you probably can't see, but there is quite a bit more, there's some more scratches everywhere on the back, just from where keys have been hitting it. But uh, yeah, really, really nice. Uh, my pivot's loose, I don't have a tool, but I do, I just adjust it. But as you can tell, it is still, I mean, people say these things have no detent, and they really don't, but they have plenty. Get it? I mean, there's, I mean, there's not much, but it, it works, you know, and I'm not worried, so. You know, this model was the one with the CTS XHP. This is a Gen 3. And uh, CTS XHP has grown to be my favorite steel. And uh, I just really like it. And here's the edge. The only part that I did kind of mess up on is uh, it's a little wider right there at the tip than it is on the other side. But the edge is, uh, it's not the prettiest, but it does, I mean, it's somewhat mirrored. I'm cutting a bunch of cardboard and it's still sharp 
but I've been carrying it and using it. The blade doesn't show hardly any F any use whatsoever. I'm actually very amazed. But um, I'll do a more in-demand video on it. But this is amazing. I really like this, and this will definitely not be going anymore to any time soon. Anyway, um, thought maybe I'd go and do a little kind of a recent acquisition stuff. Uh, kind of show some of the stuff that I have I've gotten recently, and I don't remember if I really posted or not. Some of it I know I have, but I'll just go ahead and show you. You know, I got my Hinder X. My these are my top dollar knives more than anything else, and just stuff that I really like. You know, my Hinder X M18 three and a half inch non flipper. Then we have the uh, Wilson Combat Eagle, which is very nice. Flips very well. The only problem I've had is that one screw, which I have yet to call and get the extra set. I need to. And this thing has extremely really lock up. It has finally broken in. And then uh, got my the got Kershaw, the Kershaw tilt, which will never leave my collection whatsoever, guys. I actually completely forgot how light and how nice and smooth of a knife this was. So I got a custom in and uh, it made me think just how light and smooth this is. And this knife is literally, it's amazing. Uh, it's, can't, there's not much to say otherwise. Did put an edge on it. And it's sharp. I had a hard time sharpening Vanek 75 on any other sharpener except for what this one. So it's sharper and it has a micro. Most of my knives, when I did sharpen them, I do put a micro bevel on them. The camera's probably not going to pick it up whatsoever, and I apologize for the stupid glare. This camera's not too good today. But anyway, I, I put a micro bevel on it, and, you know, it works very well. Um, guess we'll go ahead and get into something... A couple months ago, I uh, went ahead and just snagged this knife. I uh, I went for it, and uh, this was like I got this knife after I bought the gold class, benchmade gold class. Uh, that's actually, you know, I don't have that anymore. I did trade that off, and so yeah. But uh, been wanting one of these for a while. Every time I'd go to a show or something, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna pick one up today. Didn't have it. Uh, but I finally snagged one. That's the ZT301. This is the, oh yeah, this is 301. And I will say this thing is a beast of a knife. It's very heavy, but I've found out that if you take that liner out, it's a lot lighter. A lot, lot lighter. Still liner, but it's off center and it doesn't, doesn't work as good. Also, the screws stick through, but, um, yeah. It's a tank of a knife. You know, it makes me miss my Strider all, all that much more. I'm, <laughs> I'm really hoping to somehow, someday, you know, get myself a Strider Custom or Dwayne Dwyer Custom. That's my ultimate grail, really. Um, but I don't know if I'll ever get one. You know, I'd, I'd be more than willing to trade multiple knives, you know, for it. That's for sure. <clears throat> the only one that I. Only two, uh, one I'd really rather not get rid of is my Hinder, just because I love that. But anyway, <clears throat> back to it. Uh, I've gotten in a couple customs. <clears throat> some of them through trade, some aren't. I'll show the little one first. This is actually was an extra in a trade I did. And uh, this is a little... I'm not sure what steel it is, but this is a uh, little Kiridashi that was made by Elliot at Fair and Forge. He had three of them, and as a bonus, he just threw one in for free. And uh, I've been using this every single day. This is like, I've been carrying this every day. And uh, it just to show you that this thing, it's a beautiful, it's a very, very nice. I just love the rock pattern. And it came so, so sharp. So sharp that you could literally shave hair with it. And uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's so sharp and so thin at the edge that I actually did chip off an it chip off a tiny piece. But um, yeah, Th this part right here is very aggressive, so aggressive to be in fact. That let me show you what it did to my phone. Uh, I carry that in my back, in my front, 
front pocket I wear 511 tactical bands and there's a phone pouch and uh, you know uh, iPhone 5 and all these null marks you see on the back of this thing is from where that was scraping up against it but other than that it's awesome I mean I really really like this it's very awesome very it's cool and uh, I guess I can say the, the biggest pride and joy that I've recently acquired and it's one that I've wanted for a good while and uh, hold on, let me show you real quick. Let's just making sure the blade and everything was clean. And um, it's something that I've been wanting for a good long time. Let's see if I can move some of these knives out of the way. Pull the strap a little bit. You know, and uh, you know, very, very outstanding maker. You know, I know he's had some disbelief supposedly on USN and stuff, and. You know, I I don't know what to say. I mean, his art, his his stuff is amazing. It really is. I know Jim Jim Skeleton. I don't know if it, uh, check his channel out for sure. He did a very good video talking about the maker's knives, and uh, well, you probably figured out. You might have figured out who that is. Uh, this is a well, Max Expedition case, and. Uh, Inside here is something I've been wanting for a good while. Now I have had this knife for about three weeks now. That just shows you how long it's been. And I wanted to do video right when I got it, but that didn't happen. And um, this is a Will Moon Mark VI. This is one of his, I guess, I think if I remember right, this knife was built around Easter, so it was one of his Easter run quick ones. And it, uh, you know, this one has is stonewashed bolsters with his green micarta handles and the tie pocket clip which by what I heard he's not going to be doing any more really in this micarta because it's just such a tough material um, the blade is all stonewashed except for the top that's been hand po it's been polished and that was sent back yes the blade's a little off center because uh, it has a loose pivot so I have to tighten it and I tighten it up usually to the point where it's off just a little bit because it's it flies out much better but here's a close-up of the my card handles I just it's a very very nice knife you know it's a, it's an outstanding knife it's very heavy as you can see it's tapered it tapers down from the bolsters to the handle and just for a size comparison so you can see just how thick it is well, it's hard to say because here's an XM18 three and a half inch and I thought this was a beefy knife after carrying this and using this this knife is not beefy at all I mean look at the size of the titanium <laughs> seriously guys it's it's I know there's bolsters but that's huge I mean it's the same thickness of the ends but titanium for the bolsters, it's literally, it's thick. Even right here at the thickest part where the bolsters is lying in before they get thin, it's really thick. You know, here's thickness compared to a ZT301, and it's still thicker. Bolster, you know. Kershaw tilt. I mean, literally, it's, it's a thick knife. It's a big knife too at that, as you can tell. And I'm not going to compare it to the Wilson because the Wilson is uh, really thin. But anyway, I'll do a size comparison real quick of it close so you can kind of get a gist of just how big it is. It is one of the bigger knives. The Wilson, or what the Will Moon Mark VI. Hence the, uh, here's the Wilson Combat. It's a little bit, definitely a little longer. Kershaw tilt is the exact same size, basically, in which if you know how big the tilt is, it's pretty big. It's actually not that big anymore. What I, th I thought it was a lot bigger, it's not anymore after owning the Will Moon. Uh, here's a ZT301, which kind of fits in there a little better. It's about the same size as ZT301 to certain aspects. And then the Hinderer XM18 is, well, it's smaller. 
Let's keep it at that. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit smaller than an XM18 three and a half inch. Uh, I don't know how well the video is going to show up, but yeah, it's it's smaller. And then uh, we'll go ahead and show the blade. As I said, this one was acid washed. And the lighting's not gonna, it's gonna blur this all out. But it's a very, very nice Spanto hollow ground. Very thin edged. I mean, it's very thin. And it tapers out to the front to make a really thick tip. And it, man, this video is so washed out. I don't know what it is. I think it's that towel in the background or something. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what it is. It's just, man, it's pissing me off. But, uh, very beautiful blade. Very sterile, very clean, very wear resistant. I have not really cut anything with this just because, I don't know. And it's uh, CPM, CPM 154, if you can tell. Very hard to see because this camera's being retarded and the lighting is stupid as heck today. But yeah, CPM 154. It has a very nice polished ed edge to it. And like I said, the spine has been polished. Wow, I wish this video would show up way better. Uh, the it has jimping too, right here. Which is very nice. It locks in very well. Like in the hands, guys. It locks in very, very nice. I mean, if once it's in your hands, it's going to be in your hand. Um... Feels kind of like the Kershaw Tilt. The Kershaw Tilt does feel a lot more comfortable. Choil wise, uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. There's a little bit of a hot spot right there. While on the mark. Uh, choil, I really don't think it was needed for this knife, personally. Uh, I just think it was, it's such, it, it feels better just like this. But, um, here's the detent. I know a lot of people were saying the wheels detents are definitely stronger, and on the, I will say they are a lot stronger. I had a friend come over today that's in the knives, and he's flipped a lot of my knives. He couldn't flip this that easily. I mean, it literally it has it has quite the strong detent. Let's see if I can get it down here. I'm trying to see if I can get it to show you. Yeah. I mean, literally, it's it's strong. I don't know if it's as strong as some of these others. Let's see. Yeah, it's quite a bit stronger, guys. Yeah, but it's it. I mean, it fires very fast. Which makes it very nice and uh, doesn't fire as quick as a Kershaw, the Kershaw tilt, but Kershaw tilt is just literally it's just awesomely smooth. And I just noticed the video is 18 minutes, so yeah. Uh, sorry about that, guys. And uh, here's the locket for you. Very nice and early. No play either way. Has a tiny bit side by side, but that's kind of common for uh, knives that have a the um, ball bearing system. But I, I really don't, you know, as long as it doesn't fail or anything, I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos and all the malarkey and everything else. Uh, you know, I'll try to get some more videos out, and you know. I'll, I'm going to try to do a lot more posts on uh, Instagram just because that's easier for me to do uh, sometimes and I'll try to take more pictures and stuff. Thanks for watching guys. You know, you got any questions, comment below. I'll try to get back to you. You know, hope y'all are doing all good and safe. I haven't talked to any of y'all in a good while and I'm sorry about that. So, see you later guys. Have a great day.